Hello and welcome to Landmark News episode 10. Today's date is the 30th of May. I've had a fantastic few weeks with the channel and I'm really excited to be able to offer something back as a result. In today's episode, I'll be talking about giveaways and the process by which you can win. I'll be talking about trailblazer packs and how you can get your name on the credits if you've got one. And I'll finish up with a community spotlight, showcasing the work by the player Skylar. I hope you enjoy the show. So yeah, giveaways. I've come into the possession of 5 feather in a bottle codes and 10 7 day trial codes for the landmark beta to give out to you, uh, my viewers, and I'm really pleased about this. So how's this going to work? Um, I will be giving out 1 feather in a bottle key and 2 trial keys out per episode. Uh, to qualify, all you need to do is make a comment on the video in YouTube. This can either be about the show or landmark in general, but try to keep it constructive. And uh, if you finish up the comment with either a request for the 7 day free trial or the feather in a bottle, I will pick 3 winners at random over the course of the next week before the next episode. Given the number of keys, this also means that this will be running for 5 episodes, including this one, so if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future opportunities. So yeah, best of luck guys, and let's move on to the next subject. So, a quick note for Trailblazers, uh, it's about names on the credits. Uh, here's the thing, if you're one of the lucky people to have enough money to have purchased the Trailblazer pack for Landmark, then as you know, you'll be receiving your own personal spot on the title credits. However, did you know that you need to put this information into your SOE account for it to actually happen? Uh, there was a forum post a while back regarding the issue, but I felt it was necessary to just post it here as well, so nobody, you know, misses out on this. There isn't any fast approaching deadline, but if you're the organised type it might be best just to input it now before it just maybe slips you by. Now unfortunately if you want to use an internet pseudonym or a character name you still need to enter this information as both the first and last name. Uh, now a quick workaround that was just discussed on the forums for the time being is simple. Uh, you just use the first name slot for your pseudonym and then maybe your uh, last name slot for your real name, or vice versa. I've got to say, I'm kind of shocked that this is something that has come about, to my knowledge, only in the forum. So I would have thought that they would make it so that if you were to have spent close to or over a hundred dollars, then you would have this automatically brought to your attention? Question mark. So as mentioned earlier, uh, today's community spotlight is that of the player Skylar. Skylar can be found next to the central hub on Serenity Overhang Tier 1. I chose this build today as I felt like we needed to showcase a different style of building in the show. Unfamiliar with the antiquarian or modern designs shown in previous episodes, Skylar's build is most certainly inspired by that of futurist sci-fi, more specifically that of Protoss from Starcraft Universe. The designs were said to represent futuristic interpretations of architecture, both incorporating mechanical and biological parts. Skylar explained that in his designs, he wanted to represent a somewhat diametric opposite to the rounded claw design of the central hub, but still fit its same purpose. Given the complexity on the show, I felt compelled to ask if Skylar had any background involving art. Other than explaining a passion for the subject in both critique and general observation, Skylar has been drawing since the age of five in a non-professional capacity. They currently work in IT after studying 3D animation, and also explain that Landmark's current design tools give great freedom to create. As a final note, Skylar wanted to thank all of the viewers for taking time to look at his designs, both in-game and in this video. Be sure to keep up to date with his designs by searching for Skylar's work on the player gallery. He apparently has big plans for the near future. Finally, I'd just like to say thank you to Skylar for showing me around their wonderful build and taking the time to answer a few of my questions. I'm afraid that's all we've got time for today. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. Uh, be sure to tell your friends. And uh, again, if you'd like to enter into the competition, be sure to make a comment in the section down below utilising the instructions given earlier. Thank you and goodbye.